A North Memphis man says he's lucky to be alive thanks to a Memphis police officer. A bullet struck Quezel Johnson in the neck, and when the officer arrived, he began life, a life-saving measure until the ambulance arrived. Today, the two came together to tell their story. Local 24 News reporter Jenny DiPrizio was there. With a bullet still in his foot, Quizel Johnson recalls what happened last month when he was walking down the street. Car pulled up on me, shots got fired, and I only, only recall I can remember is the bullet going through my neck. Lucky for Johnson, Chris Williams was the first officer to the scene. Williams had what is called a Medicop kit, a small pouch with essentials for police to administer life-saving techniques until paramedics arrive. Since 2018, MPD has issued them to officers. I got my gauze, I got my, med uh, my trauma pack, and I theoretically pushed it inside of his neck so it would stop the bleeding. You could see the spot on Johnson where the bullet entered and exited his neck. To be told, I didn't know I was gonna make it, but you know, I prayed to my father all the way through the, through the run. It was a long run to bleed the way I bleed. I never thought I would be saved by an officer because when I was growing up, the officers always thought we was always crooks and thought we was up to no good. I've got almost eight years in on my career so far and I've never seen somebody get shot in the neck and survive. Since that day, Williams has been checking on how Johnson and his family are doing. Johnson's grandmother has nothing but praise. Black lives do matter. And my grandson matter to Mr. Officer Chris Williams. And I want the world to know this. This is a very unrewarding, at times, undescribable, difficult job to do. And whenever you hear thank you, you know, it means everything. Johnson is scheduled for surgery to remove the bullet from his foot Thursday. He says he'll remember Officer Williams and that day the rest of his life. God is good. He must something my way for a reason. In downtown Memphis, Jenny DiPrizio, Local 24 News.